Ladies, welcome to this final day inside the People Focused Marketing event. I want to make sure that I'm live. I want to join you here on my other computer. Okay, cool. I am with you now. Okay, awesome. Marie, bonjour. Bonjour. My sister, monsieur. Is that, is that sister? I don't know. Anywho, listen, welcome. If you have been staying up to date, Inside this event, you know that we've gotten a lot of good work done. We have identified aspects of your people-focused marketing strategy, and you've begun to do the necessary think work to approach your activities strategically, not kind of flying by the seat of your pants, right? We're being strategic. We're being intentional with a purpose and a goal for everything we're doing, right? In order to do what? Optimize everything we're doing. And today I'm going to bring it all together. I'm going to make sure you leave this event with a framework for implementing and carrying out this powerful people-focused marketing approach where we're elevating people way, way, way above the tech and building your business on relationships where we're prioritizing, making connections with people. And all of that is all about leveraging the skill set that the good Lord gave us ladies, which is relationship building. Hey, Morelli, um, missed yesterday. Well, we're glad you're here. Catherine, hola. Oh, thank you. I know. Can I just say that yesterday when I looked at myself, I about went, Bleh. okay. Um, something's been going on with my eyes. I don't think it's pink eye. Maybe it's allergy. And so I really can't do eye makeup. And at the age of 55, when my eyes aren't done and my hair is not, having a good hair day. It can be a little yikers, right? Hey, Megan. Hi, Maria. I'm so glad you're all here. All right. So first of all, if you haven't yet signed in here on Facebook, our Blessed to Thrive community Facebook group, please do so. Tell me who's here. And I'd love to always hear, um, you know, what your biggest takeaway is, what you've enjoyed most about our time together, because I'm going to miss not coming to you. Truly. I love this. It's a lot of work, getting ready, as you can well imagine, but it is a team effort from Team Extraordinary, and uh, we're happy to be here with you. So today, we're going to start being engaged here. We're going to start with engagement, so keep that comment bar open. We're going to start with a couple of questions, and so whether you are here with me live right now or you're watching the replay, I need you to answer these five questions, okay? So turn up the volume and get your little typing fingers ready, okay? excuse me. First question. Do you feel called to business? Called by God to have your business? Please type in yes or no. Do you feel called by the Lord to do this? Okay. That's question one. Question two, a little bit tougher, I think. Are you great at what you do? Yes or no? Are you an expert? Would you consider yourself an expert? And if you don't feel like an expert, tell me why you feel that way. What do you feel you're missing? Why don't you feel like an expert? And now with the delay, the responses are coming in. Catherine says, absolutely, yes, I am called to this business by God. Megan says, yes. Maria says, yes. Marie says, yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay. And a lot of you are saying yes with... um, you know, are you feeling great at what you do? Awesome. 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 I love, love, love it. Great. Great. Because I need that confidence. I need you to know that, you know, that, you know, that you're called to business by God. I need you to know that, you know, what you're doing in whatever your field is. Okay. So I love it. Beautiful. Okay. Question number three, this is, this is such a gimme. Do you love serving others? Yes or no? I know that the vast majority, if not every one of you is going to say yes to that. I love to serve. Are you kidding? Okay. Now we're getting a little bit tougher. So question number four is, do you feel any guilt, any hesitation, any holdback when it comes to making money, charging for that expertise? Do you, do you have guilt, hesitation? Is anything holding you back? Do you have kind of something going on when it comes to this notion of making money and charging for what you do? And if you do, then please be honest 
and tell me why. Where does that guilt come from? Right? Maybe it could be, well, I was taught as a little girl that good Christians can't be rich. Maybe, right? Or maybe you were taught that money is the root of all evil, as opposed to the love of money is the root of all evil, which is the Bible verse. But I know there are some pastors out there and some well intentioned parents who leave out that part and they just say money is the root of all evil. So if you have an issue with charging at all and pricing your services, I want to hear from you. Okay. Marie says getting better. Maria says not anymore. I'm glad a bunch of you went silent, I think, unless it's not popped up yet. Okay. That was number four. Do you feel guilt or weird or hesitant or anything like that about making money? Okay. So number five is this. You're here. So I know you love the Lord Jesus Christ, but I need you to answer this question. And it may not be as easy as it uh, may initially sound. And by the way, I am loving all these comments. Thank you. This kind of engagement, I think is good for everybody involved. It's here live. Okay. So that's good. Okay. Question number five, answer this, please. Do you trust Jesus? And by this, I mean, do you really trust him? Like when he said with God, nothing is impossible. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that with Christ, even the impossible quote unquote is truly possible? right? That's a tough one, right? For me, it has been. And I'd say in the past six months, I've really thought long and hard about this. And after studying scripture and going to the Lord, I'm even more committed now than ever to live out God's promises, to take the Lord at his word and believe that in him, nothing is impossible. And I'm seeing, yes, I trust him. Yes, Lord, and please help me um, with my unbelief. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. I believe, but he lets you suffer through it. But but hang on a second, but hang on a second. That was a great comment, but I wanna, um, you know, we have to go through what we have to go through. But what I'm really getting to in this question is, do you believe that, you know, when you think about your business, And I would venture to guess that you got in business because you wanted control of your time. You wanted time freedom and you wanted money freedom. Like you wanted to make money on your own terms, right? You didn't want to have a boss. You want to be the boss because when, you know, you have a family event, you don't want to have to ask to take off. And you saw yourself busting your butt if you were in corporate and making tons of money for the company. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should do this for myself. Okay. That's what I mean by, do we trust the Lord that this is the business? This is what I'm doing. And he is going to make sure I prosper and thrive. Okay. Um, Marie says, yes, with my life, I trust him with my life. I tend to think it for others. I'm getting grounded now. Doubt is from the enemy. God wants the best for his daughters. Amen. Maria says, I do all the time for others, but honestly, for me, I sometimes hesitate to believe. And that is the crux, exactly the center of where my question is, right? There are no limits on what God can do in and through you and your business. You got to believe that we need to live that out, Right. We got to have faith and that faith that we have needs to be lived out and be evident to the world as they watch us live our lives and run our businesses. We can't, we can't run our businesses in fear. We can't make decisions based on fear and we can't have doubt that our business is a thriving one, not in the future, but is right now. And that's how we're going to behave. Okay. That's got to be our mindset. That's got to be the way we think. Okay, so all these questions, especially that last one, I want you to pray over these later. And I really want you to get real with yourself. Go to God and ask him to speak wisdom to you, his wisdom, right? Because again, here's what I see. Too many Christian women that are so gifted by the Lord, true experts, amazing at their craft. And they are called to serve others through their business, but they're holding back. They tell me they're stuck right? As I work with my clients and over the years, I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of women. And here's what I found. We ladies think too small. Through 
our beliefs that are standing in our own way. And so again, ladies, we're Christians. So we especially shouldn't have that hesitation. We shouldn't be standing in our own way, which is really standing in the way of what God has for us, right? And that's one of the reasons I founded the whole She is Extraordinary movement, because as I see it, this is the time. It is time for women to change the way we see ourselves, okay? And it's also one of the reasons I created the She is Extraordinary podcast and why this past weekend I rolled out the She is Extraordinary magazine. I am super passionate, ladies, about lifting you up, encouraging you to fulfill your God-given purpose. How do we do that? By surrender. I don't know, it feels weird, but by surrender, by fully embracing who we are in Christ, I want you to go all in on who he made you to be so that you can serve the people he's called you to serve through your business, right? With Christ, nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. I I want this thread to be blown up right now with hearts, okay? With Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, nothing is impossible. And your business sister is God's outreach to the world, his outreach to the world through you. He's ready to do his part. Are you, sister? Are you going to him daily, asking God to reveal his plan, his strategy, his vision for that business that he has entrusted to you? I see a lot of amens, some hearts coming in. Awesome. So here's the thing. I'm going to wrap this up here and then jump in. If you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, there's a reason. There's no coincidence that you're here. God ordained this moment for you and for me. He wanted you to hear this message. He's got big plans for you and for the impact that you and your business is meant to have in this world. And so today, sister, I'm here to encourage you to think bigger. With Christ, there is no limitation to what you can do. Because at the end of the day, it really isn't about you. It's about what Christ can do through you. If you let him. If you're open to hear his voice and hear his direction and instruction. And then act on what he tells you. Okay. That's a good word from the Lord. Okay. So I want you to be excited, be hopeful, be expectant. How is he going to show up today? Right. God is moving. No doubt in my mind. He's calling his daughters to extraordinariness, extraordinariness by his hand. Are you ready? Okay. Well, today I'm super excited because we're going to review what we've done and I'm going to reveal to you the people-focused marketing framework to allow you to complete your plan. Okay, so let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, you are so good. You are just awesome, Lord. We stand or sit in all of you right now, Lord. I'm being a little quiet because I want to hear what you have to say. As we're talking to you, I know that you are hearing us and I praise you for that, Lord. And you know, you know me, Lord, I, I, um, I'm a fast thinker. I'm a fast talker. I like to do, do, do. And the older I get, the more I feel you telling me, listen to me, come to me. I got everything you need. So thank you for that, Lord. May today's session with our revealing of the framework that you gave to me, Lord. And with the Q&A that's to follow, Lord, I just pray that you are all over it. That your will be done, that you are pleased with what's going on here and that you would bless each and every one of these ladies, their families and their businesses to truly begin. Or in some cases, continue, I guess, continue is more accurate, continue in their journey to discover who they are who you made them to be and Lord help to surrender to be exactly that. We love you, God, and we trust you. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus, your son, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So let me minimize that. I'm going to share my screen because I want to share, I want to reveal to you and share the framework that I I'm so excited to do. Am I not able to share a screen? Oh my goodness. Like that wouldn't be good. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yay. I think I'm able to do it. Okay. 
It's so good when the tech is agreeable, isn't it? Okay. So here it is. Here it is, ladies. This is the people focused marketing framework. Okay. So I want to spend some time chatting with you about what in the world this graph is all about and how you can use it to build your entire business around people focused marketing. Or again, we're elevating people over the tech, which, which I love. Okay. So at the top, you see, it's all about your brand. And this is really the fuel for this entire system. Okay. This is the fuel of the entire system. So what is the brand? What do I mean when I say your brand? What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, your brand begins with identifying the gap. We've talked about that. Determine how you will uniquely serve your target audience, right? Okay. You are going to, as a part of the brand, identify your target audience. Who's your ideal client? You're not just going to work with everybody, right? Um, Another part of this is you as the expert. What is your area of specialty, right? Where are you the authority, the go-to, and how can you position yourself there? And that leads us, of course, to your unique brand messaging. What are your isms? What is your unique approach to what you do, right? What's unique about you? And then the next step is we're going to optimize your online presence. We're going to make sure you have that credibility stuff going on and, and that you have your social proof and, and that whole part of building up your brand, positioning it well in the marketplace. Okay. So all of that has to be in place before any of your marketing is going to work. So getting clarity around your brand, what you do specifically and how you do it and who you serve and your specific brand messaging is what fuels this whole thing. Okay. Then you can see there are different spokes coming out of the people focused marketing. And these are the people that you're going to be connecting with because we're talking about relationships, we're talking about people, Right. And so let's take one of each one of these and summarize a little bit about what we talked about here inside the event. So the pre-client, you're going to identify people to connect with who could be prospective clients, right? And there's a whole aspect of qualifying people when you get to that point, right? Um, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, with respect to pre-client, you have to determine how to find the right people, where to find the right people, how to best connect with them, and how to kind of move the process along to ultimately, perhaps if there's a fit, get them over to the client block, okay? And with respect to the client aspect of people-focused marketing, that's a huge bucket, Okay, because here, above all, we're curating an extraordinary client experience, right? We talked about that. We're going to include um, a, a QA, quality assurance overviews throughout the performance uh, and delivery of our uh, program or course or product, whatever it is, right? We're going to over deliver. We're going to focus on reactivations and upsells, right? If I have a client, how can I continue to serve them in a deeper way or in a higher level way? That kind of thing. Then this bucket is also referrals, right? So those are just some of the key points of the client bucket, okay? And then the post-client. Okay, so now they've gone through our service. They've gone through our program, our course, our, they've used the product, okay? But that doesn't end the relationship. We're going to be intentional about keeping in touch, how are we going to keep in touch? How frequently are we going to keep in touch? What does that look like? Okay. And then also a part of this bucket also um, is referrals. I know that was in the client one, but that's going to continue even after they stop being a client, right? Um, we're going to continue also, even in the post-client stage, we've got to figure out how we're going to continue to show up for them, right? How can we continue to serve them with the potential of upsells and then becoming a client again? Okay. And the fourth bucket here is collaborations. Okay. Who can I connect with that we could potentially do things together? 
right? Collaboration. So they could be within the industry or outside the industry. They could share our ideal client, our target audience, or maybe they, they're not, right? Um, what can we do together? Maybe it's an online or a virtual event. Maybe we can combine our email lists and do some sort of, um, you know, effort or promotion together. Maybe we can guest on each other's podcasts or blogs or YouTubes or Instagram lives together. All these different things that we can do by way of collaboration with the focus of how can we serve each other as business owners and how can we serve each other's respective audiences and kind of a win-win for both. That's the aspect there. Okay. And then, of course, I don't know what's going on here. Decline that. Oops. Well, that was not good. I don't know what in the world that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me stop sharing. This is why I'm about elevating people over tech. This is why I hate my Mac. Okay. Pardon the digression. Let's go back to where we were. Okay. Here we are back again. Okay. So the last block is networking. And networking is huge. Because you know what networking does? It puts us in front of new people. So that we can continue to fill our buckets. So we can continue to meet people that may be uh, potential clients. So that we can continue to meet new people who um, may be potential collaborative partners, or you know what, maybe they will never be a client. Maybe they're not a business owner, so they could never be potential collab partners, but they're great people and people know people. So networking, what are we going to do specifically? How are we going to spend the precious time that we have for networking, both online and offline to be as effective as we can be. How can we find great people that we like, that we want to get to know better and that we can serve and that they may be able to serve us in some way, whether they refer someone to us or what have you. Okay. So this is kind of my this is the framework for the people focused marketing. And so I want to pause. I know that there's a delay, but what does, oh, Maria says, we love you. I know I'm funny. I, I gotta be fun. I mean, to me, business, if it's not fun, why in the world am I doing it? Right. So thank you for that. Um, but ladies, really. So what do you think about this? Does this, does this framework help make it look doable? And now you can see how all the different pieces fit together. I'd love to get just some initial, you know, comments on what we have here in front of you. Okay. And while you are doing those comments, here's what I want to do. I, I honestly, God, this is so true. I just put the finishing touches on a brand new program called People Focused Marketing. I mean, I don't have, even have a fancy name for it except People Focused Marketing. And um, I put this together. God downloaded what he wants me to do with this to move it fo forward. Because as of last night, I swear to you, I did not have an offer to put in front of you. But I felt like God saying, well, this is great, Judy. And I've given you this framework. So invite those that are interested to join you to go deeper. So here's what I have for you, okay? It is a nine-week program where I'm going to be giving you live trainings. We're going to be meeting live on Zoom, and I'm limiting this to 10 ladies in my beta, okay? But it looks like a nine-week program where we're going to meet live on Zoom. We're going to have a private Facebook group. We're going to go deep on each of these different aspects of people-focused marketing. And so again, I just want you to understand what this is. We're going all in on people. Is there going to be an element of tech? Yes, I'm not going to lie. There is an element of tech with reaching out through social, perhaps, depending upon you know, how we decide to network, for example, and how we want to get you visible, because part of your brand is not just creating this amazing brand, but it's getting it out there into the world, to the right places, right? Um, but this is going to be a powerful, a power-packed nine weeks together, where we're going to meet live, 
We're going to have a private Facebook group and we're going to, I'm going to put all the videos and all the resources, the templates and the checklists and the resources into something off of Facebook so that you can more easily access everything. Okay. So I want to create this beautiful platform of videos and other resources in addition to the opportunity to come together in a private Facebook group um, to do some maybe bonus trainings, things like that. Plus you beta ladies, you 10 beta ladies would have a one-on-one just with me as we're putting this thing together. Okay. So this is going to begin the end of May, uh, probably the last week in May. I didn't even determine that because, Hey, it just, you know, God just gave this to me this morning, truly. Okay. But as I said, I'm limiting this to 10 and this is going to be my betas. I want to formalize the trainings. And if you thought what you got in the past couple of days is good, we're going way deeper. And that's why it's nine weeks. Okay. All right. So in my regular price on this, I'm going to be very transparent with you is going to be easily 2,500 bucks to go through this. But for my betas, I have special pricing because you're my guinea pigs. And so I give you a cut on that. So the pay in full pricing for jumping in to my people focused marketing is only 1297, 1297, or you can get started as little as 497. And because this just came to me today, I do not have a landing page. I mean, I'm walking my talk here, ladies. Okay. So if you're interested in this comment, tell me more in the comments, or if you're listening to this on the podcast, DM me on Instagram at, at Judy Weber Co at Judy Weber Co. But I have a special opportunity for the first three ladies. For the first three ladies, we're going to do even better because I always like to reward my fast action takers. Okay. So for you, you will not pay $12.97 pay in full. Your pay in full price is only $7.97. Ridiculous. I know. I reward my action takers and you will love, love, love this. You're going to come out of this feeling so great (laughs) about your marketing. Marketing that feels great because it's built on relationships and people, okay? So if you're the first three, $7.97 pay in full, or you can get started for as little as $2.97, okay? But there's more, but there's more. I have two big bonuses for you, okay? One bonus is my systems building bundle. You may already have it, if you've been blessed to, but it is no longer for free and its value is easily $4.95. Okay. And that is five videos that get you all your systems in place, the time blocking, the video marketing, the um, opt-ins, which is critical, right? For success. Um, And two other ones, I can't even remember what they are, but systems building bundle, five video trainings with um, a resource guide, a workbook. Okay. And also I'm putting together a sales bundle, a sales bundle with a bunch of video trainings and resources, talk tracks, um, how to reach out on social without feeling yucky, um, how to get more consults, how to really gain confidence in sales. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love to hear from you. Just say, tell me more in the comments and let's make it happen. So um, let me come to you. Right now, I have some time. Let's see what time is it. It's 12.30. I have about 10 minutes for live Q&A. So what questions do you have? I'm going to come to the comments here. Um, Marie says, your training is clearly worthy. We've all seen some results. Awesome. I know. And that is my prayer. I wanted you to leave this feeling empowered and having a real plan of where to go. And feeling momentum. So if you want to continue the momentum and not try to figure out the rest on your own, but actually have a guide me personally and access to me throughout nine weeks together to really go deep, I'd love you to jump in. Um, Okay, so any questions? Because I'm here to answer your questions as you are going through all the materials, because there was quite a bit. Um, I tried to simplify it, but there's a lot of think work. And um, it's so funny. I was listening to a podcast, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and someone was saying, nobody likes to think. Like think work is the hard work that most people avoid. And that's why, what is it? 90 or 95% of businesses that are in existence now won't be in existence in two years because they're flying by the seat of their pants. So here's an opportunity at an unbelievable value 
an investment for you to get a marketing system, kit and caboodle, complete, comprehensive, that's going to get you everything you need in a way, by the way, that feels really good, that honors Christ. You are putting him first. You are putting people second and you are serving. This all comes from a place of service and very importantly, using your God-given gifts in order to impact the people that God wants you to impact. So um, I'm not seeing any other questions. So um, I just want to see if I'm not missing something. Let's see if I'm missing something. It says there's 47 comments. I don't think I'm seeing 47 comments, but maybe maybe um, they're just being scrolling up. So, all right, ladies, I don't see questions. So I'm going to let you go. A lot to think about. But if you have questions, you want to chat with me, I am offering you the opportunity to chat. If you go to bit.ly slash PFN chat, let's chat. You don't have questions now, but you have questions later. Well, grab a spot bit.ly slash pfm chat. We can chat about questions one-on-one for a quick uh, get to know me session. We can chat about this people-focused marketing uh, program that's going to start later this month. It's your time, right? 15 minutes with me where we can get to know each other. And I'm, I'm, I would be blessed and honored to chat with you, get to know you better and answer your questions. So All right. So Marie had a question. Um, How long do you try to take a pre-client to client? Some go silent right after they get the info. I need to think about it. Not a problem with money. Okay. So that's the kind of specific stuff we go inside the program and also in my sales bundle. So you would love that. But now I will say that, um, Okay, one thing I want to capture before it goes away. Maria says, for me, the hardest thing has been day three, credibility marker, markers and social proof. Okay, great. I, want to, I wanted to say that so it's captured so I don't forget it. But getting back to Marie's question, how long does it take to get from a pre-client to a client? My answer is it depends. But the better you are with a system to know what to say, how to say it in a way that invites and um, kind of encourages engagement, it makes that timeline a heck of a lot quicker. And I teach you inside the program a way that you can get on the phone with someone and go from cold to close, really, um, potentially, and how exactly you go about doing that. And you may say, whoa, whoa, are you kidding me? Going from cold to close in a conversation? It's possible. It's possible. And it starts with mindset. And it starts with having the right uh, words to say. And what was at the top of that graphic that I showed you? Their brand. You've got to have a brand that is stand out. You've got to have a brand that is visible so that people can check you out. They can Google you. They can Google your business and be way impressed so that by the time they get on the phone with you, um, they're, they're halfway there. That's what I mean about doing the heavy lifting in the marketing aspect so that the sales come a heck of a lot easier and quicker. And that ties in to Maria's point, which is, wait a minute, what about credibility markers? What about social proof? Well, we've got to be intentional about asking for testimonials. We have got to be intentional about pursuing PR, right? Publicity. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, sometimes we think, um, you know, we see somebody else win an award and we think, oh my gosh, that is so awesome. But yet you forgot about the award that you just got, you know, last year. And somehow we as ladies minimize our own credibility right? And we somehow elevate others because we look at them and they say, oh my gosh, but they're amazing. And I'm just me. So we need to flip our mind, our thought set on that. Okay. So I hope that helps, but being intentional. And that's what this people focused marketing system, the graphic that I showed you is really all about. We've got to be intentional about our activities so that we're doing the right things in the right way. And we're optimizing everything we're doing so that we're not flying by the seat of our pants, certainly. And we're also not wasting time doing things that really don't matter, that really don't push the needle at all. So Marie says, okay, Maria gave me a heart. 
Okay, I don't see any other questions, so I'm going to leave you, but I look forward to the opportunity to chat with you, and I especially can't wait to see who those 10 ladies are that jump in, and in particular, the first three that get that incredible opportunity to jump in at a really like a a, a no-brainer pricing. So thank you, ladies. God bless you. And if you're not already in the Blessed to Thrive Community Facebook group for you podcast listeners right now, search us out. You do not want to be miss being a part of this incredible community of nearly 3,500 like-minded Christian women building businesses of significance God's way. So thank you once again for joining me and I'll see you soon. God bless.